What's up YouTube, what's up Jigsaw Pieces and today people we are bringing you another Spot That Battle Battle Spot series and before we get started if you wouldn't mind just tapping that like button down below because your support really does mean the world. Now in yesterday's episode we picked up three losses thanks to a flinch but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Our... Remember if you think we should change anything on this team, whether that be a move, whether that be an item it holds, whether that be a whole goddamn Pokemon, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. Let me just give you a recap of our team. And 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 we have Mega Blastoise, Leftovers Vivalon, uh Choice Specs Metagross. Life Orb Rhyperia, Big Root Maractus, and Focus Sash Chandelure. So let's jump into our first battle. Let's turn on Music 21, because that is the best one, in my opinion. And let's see if we can find ourselves up an opponent. A. Hey. Can we find someone, please? There we go. We have someone from Japan. That's their actual name. From Kanagawa. And we see Gengar, Salamence, Clef Key, Thunderous, Quagsire, and Falcarion. Now, I feel like them Pokemon are quite fast. Which makes me want to bring Chandelure. Really makes me want to bring Chandelure. Especially seeing with a Trick Room up, we can hit the Gengar. We can hit the Clef Key with him. Um, and we can absorb Volcarion's fire attacks. So I'm going to open up with the Chandelure. <clears throat> now Blastoise can hit 1, 2, 3, 4 of his Pokemon. And then I'm not going to make the same mistake as Suicune. Because before, uh, remember I was not go I was going to bring Maractus for the Suicune. And I thought there's only one water type. I won't. There's only one Pokemon that really trumps my team there and it is the Quagsire so I'm gonna bring the Maractus this time and we'll see how that goes we see how that goes my opponent is taking quite a while to choose his Pokemon um personally if I was him I would maybe I should have thought about this before I chose my Pokemon I would open up with the Quagsire or the Gengar yeah. If he opens up with a Quagsire, that's a bad, bad time for us. That's literally the worst possible thing to happen. Nonetheless, nonetheless, nonetheless. Who does my opponent open up with? Come on, show me the money. <laughs> But did it opens up with the thunderous? I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. I'm gonna get a trick room off here. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Go for the toxic. Okay, that's. I mean, it breaks my sash. But we. I mean, the whole point of the sash is so I can get a free trick room up, and we've done it. So I'm happy. Happiness. So we see he's thunderous. Okay. So thunderous, 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 buddy, thunderous, buddy, buddy, old pal, old friend, old, yeah, whatever. I went on contest. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Thunderous, Cerebi, X and Y. I like to think, try and be prepared now, because we notice how not being prepared screws you over. Hey. Right, well, there's not a lot uh, Chandelure can do to him, but then Chandelure was literally there to set up the trick room. So I think what I'm going to do, do I Calm Mind? Do I risk that? I'm trying Calm Mind. Uh, no, I'm just going to go straight up Flamethrower. No reason not to. It does a lot. Oh my god. Okay. He popped his Citrus, but one more Flamethrower will take out. A Thunderbolt might kill us. It doesn't. Okay, Chandelure, you're amazing. Chandelure, you're amazing. I am quickly falling in love with Chandelure from using him in this. I didn't think much of him before, but I am quickly falling in love with Chandelure. 
And we take out a Thunderous. Obviously, Toxic is going to take toll. Uh... So, next turn, Toxic Damage will take us out, unfortunately. Let's see who he goes out to. If he bought Clefkly and Gengar, he's screwed. Absolutely screwed. I mean, I'd prefer if he went into Clefkly right now, because other than Chandelure, we don't have anything for Clefkly. But we'll see. We shall see. He's thinking long and hard about this switch. Thinking long and hard. Come on, buddy. What, what are you can send out here? Goes and sends out the Salamence. Oh, god damn. Well, we know we're going to have speed, so I think I'm just going to try and get a Shadow Ball off here. I'm glad I didn't calm mind, actually, because we wouldn't have taken out that Thunderous. We see it's his Mega. That's so dangerous. Mega Salamence is so dangerous. I'm tempted to change the Twist Scarf on Chandelure to uh, Light Clay. I, wait, no. Does Light Clay extend Trick Room? I want something that extends Trick Room. Uh, that was might have been a mistake on your part to... Oh, wait, no. He's just letting my Toxic Damage take me out. Okay, no, 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 no. no. That was a good idea to do that. Um, Trick Room is still up. So, I think we're comfortable going straight into Blastoise here and getting an Ice Beam off, which should finish this Salamance up. Should finish the Salamence. So let's go ahead, Mega Evolve, and use the Ice Beam. Trick Room is still up. We will at speed. Can we take it out? If we take it out, that's huge. And then I think the Trick Room will peter away after. I want something that extends Trick Room, really. So we take out the Salamence. He's left with one Pokemon. One Pokemon. And it is the Quagsire. And we have Maractus. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, an Earthquake is still going to hurt Maractus. It's still definitely going to hurt Maractus. But, uh. Now, I think I'm just going to go for a Water Pulse. It's Stab. Oh, wait, you can get Water Absorb. No, 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 no. We're not going to risk that. We're not going to risk that. No way. Um, I think maybe I'll stick with Ice Beam and hope for a freeze. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Ice Beam. Hope for a freeze of some sort. Trick Room's still up? Okay. Go for the stockpile. Oh. Oh. Trick Room is still up. I mean, obviously you can swallow and that will do it, but if we get a crit... Can I call on the Arceus, the god of Pokemon? Give me a crit. He didn't give me a crit. Goes for the Recover. Stockpile Recover. This is going to be annoying. Definitely be good to Leech Seed this thing. Is Trick Room still up? Can we get a Freeze or a crit? That was a crit! Arceus! You beautiful thing. You beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. So he stockpiled two. But, I I think Trick Room petered out a long time ago. Um, we've just snagged the win. <laughs> we got to win. <gasps> we got to win. Oh, my God. I, honestly, I love Chandelure. It, it puts in nothing but the finals. Puts in nothing but the finals. We got 2-0 victory there. Oh, my God. We won one! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we're going to jump into our second match. Remember, we do do three matches in this series. And don't forget, guys, if you think we should change anything on this team, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. Yes, please, I would like to continue battling. If you feel like, if you think another Pokemon fills that role better, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. So we're going to jump into our second match here. 
second match, second match. We are looking for an opponent. And we have another person from Japan. Japan is out to play today. We see Haxorus, Pinsir, Torkoal, Articuno, Umbreon, and Meganium. A lot of Pokemon I haven't encountered yet. Um... A lot of Pokemon I haven't encountered yet. What is, uh... What would Umbreon get? I feel like Umbreon's coming. I know he's a defensive monster. I hear about it all the time that he's a defensive monster. Uh... He's weak to fight, so Blastoise can hit him. Okay. Blastoise can hit him. The Haxorus. The Torkoal. Meganium and the Pincer is going to be an issue. Meganium and the Pincer is definitely going to be an issue. Um, I see quite a lot of slow Pokemon. So I really don't want to bring Chandelure. I'm going to try and get that Vivalon set up. I'm going to bring Blastoise because he does hit quite a few. Now that Pincer and Meganium is such an issue. I might just bring Chandelure not to Trick Room. And we'll see how that goes. Just to calm mind. And then flamethrower everything. Because flamethrower will hit the Ar Akuno as well, actually. Chandelure kind of hits the whole team. I kind of wish I opened up with Chandelure now. Nonetheless, nonetheless, nonetheless. He's taking a very long time to choose his Pokemon. And if I was him, I should think about this before I choose. Uh, if I was him, I would definitely bring the Meganium. Uh, I would definitely open up with the Meganium, actually. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see what he's going to bring. He might open up with the Umbreon, seeing that he's a defensive beast. <laughs> Opens up with the Haxorus. Okay. We open up with Vivalon. Mole Breaker. Does that mean abilities don't work? Or something like that. I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder. We get the Sleep Powder off. That's a sleeping Haxorus there. Now, are we going to actually get to use Vivalon how I intend to? I'm going to set up a substitute. Okay. We see the lefties recover us a bit. Now, I'm going to set up a Quiver Dance. Haxorus does wake up, gets a Jewel Chop off. That's just going to pop our Substitute there, which is fine. Oh, Jewel Chop hits us twice. Oh, god damn. Oh, I didn't know Jewtop worked like that. He literally brought the perfect Pokemon for Vivalon. Oh, god damn me, dummy, 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 dummy. What I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to Sleep Powder, Quiver Dance. Oh, I can't do that. He withdrew. Who's he going out to? Either way, they're going to sleep. Meganium. Are you immune? <gasps> oh, the plays are real. Question is, will a hurricane finish him off now? There's only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Okay. He might just double switch. He might very well just double switch. I feel like I'm getting outplayed here. I definitely feel like I'm getting outplayed. So we see Meganium and Haxorus. Hurricane hits, and it's a one-shot! Bye-bye, Meganium.
Bye bye, Meganium. We see a little bit more lefties recovery, which means we could set up a sub if need be. Senza, it did indeed bring the Umbreon. Now, getting this thing asleep is absolutely huge. It's massive, because this thing can be frustrating, shall we say. We get the sleep powder off. Now, I am going to sub up here. Uh... Just because I do want to set up another Quiver Dance. Is that smart? Yeah, I'm going to sub up. I want to set up another Quiver Dance. So we're going to go ahead and quiver dance. We're doing deed setup. So now we're at plus two. He woke up. Foul play. That will take my sub out. I was going to take that sub. Bye bye, sub. So, what I'm going to do here. I know we at speed and we are at plus two, but just to be safe, I'm going to go for the sleep powder. Put this thing asleep. I must be, uh, if I was you, I'd be well annoyed right now. But I know Umbreon's a defensive beast. Um, so I really don't want to... I think... Do I sub again? Or do I just straight up Hurricane? I, um, I'm going to Hurricane. We're going to go for it, we're going to go for it, we're going to go for it, we're going to stop being annoying and going to go for it. Oh my god, oh, we get the confusion! He woke up, oh damn, damn, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. That's dead, that's dead, Vivalon's dead. Oh, we lived! Oh my god! Vivalon, you beautiful thing. Um, there's no reason not to muck. Uh, to carry on mucking about. I'm just going to go for the hurricane here. Is he going to protect? Is he going to do that? Wait, he would have protected on one of the sleep powders. Both my setup Pokemon are proving their worth in today's episode. Chandelure, the last battle, and Vivalon is proving its worth in this battle. Du -du 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 -du. Hurricane, that will take him out now. There we go, that's a dead Umbreon. So he's only got his Haxorus left. Now, if we can get some residual damage on him, I think Blastoise should be able to finish him up. But there's no reason not to try and put him asleep. No reason not to try and put him asleep. Breaking molds. Um, I'm going to go for the sleep powder. And then I'm just going to hurricane away because I just want to chip away some damage on this Haxorus. So that Blastoise can finish him up easily. Oh my god! Fifalon, you monster! We pick up two wins today! Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy for me. Uh, two wins! Oh my god.
That was, that was too good. I can't believe it worked. Vivalon! You amazing, beautiful creature. <laughs> Alright. So, as we jump into our... F looking for our... Not yet, not yet, not yet. Wait, wait. As we are looking for our third opponent, guys, if you think we should change anything on this team, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below, whether that be move, a ability even, um, although you don't know what abilities I'm running, um, item, or a whole Pokemon, just let me know. So we find someone else from Japan, oh my god. Right, so we see Latias, Gyarados, Ditto, Rotom Wash, Embor, and... Metagross. Now, there's a lot of water types there. Makes me really want to bring Maractus. That did, I was, that did really just scare me. Um, I could bring Rapiria, but the Metagross is, uh, the, the water types are too much. There's two water types there. Uh... I would say there's a lot of fast Pokemon, but there isn't really. There's three fast Pokemon and three slow Pokemon. Or two slow Pokemon and one that ends up being the same speed as you. Uh, I, re I, don't I don't feel comfortable opening up with the Chandelure at all. So I think I'm going to open up with a Vivalon, see if Vivalon can pull through again. Blastoise can hit the Latias, the Embor the Metagross. So I'm going to bring Blastoise, and I'm going to bring Maractus because of those two water Pokemon. I just, I don't know why, but this Ditto, this Ditto might cause me issues. It really might cause me issues. Because I don't know, I don't know what Ditto can do. I mean, obviously Ditto can do what you can do, but how would you use that competitively? If you don't know what's coming. I don't know. Does indeed open up with the Ditto! Well, if I wanted anything asleep, I suppose it would be Imposter. He's going to become a Vivalon himself. Um, so I'm going to Sleep Powder. Just because now I know what this Vivalon can do. Goes for the sub. Uh, is he going to outplay me with my own bloody Pokemon? He's going to set up a Quiver Dance. Or he's going to try and Sleep Powder. I'm gonna sub. I'm gonna sub up. He withdrew! Ooh. Goes out into Rotom Wash. We set up a sub, which is fine. And we should outspeed this thing. So now a sleep powder would be beautiful. A sleep powder would actually be beautiful. We get the sleep powder off, so that Rotom Wash is now asleep. And, uh, because we already had the sub up, I can safely get a Quiver Dance off and then a Hurricane. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Stay asleep, Rotom. Stay asleep, Rotom. He stays asleep. Okay. That really tempts me to go for another Quiver Dance. Do I go for another Quiver Dance? We've got the sub there. And we outspeed. I'm going to set up another Quiver Dance. Go straight up for the plus two. Because I know if I can sit Vivalon up enough, we will sweep his whole team. Does indeed wake up. Goes for the Thunderbolt. That's just going to break our sub. Did it not even break our sub? Oh, it did, it did, it did. Okay. And what I think I'm going to do, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go for another Sleep Powder. Put this Rotom Wash to sleep again. We get more lefties recovery. 
which means we are back up to full health. And we're at plus two. So I'm going to set up another sub. And then I'm going to start hurricane everything away. It really does make me want to go to plus three, but I think that's being too greedy. I think that's waiting way too greedy. We're already at plus two. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the hurricane. I know it's not going to do overly too much. Oh, he does switch. Switches into his intimidating, doesn't hurt, affect me. Hurricane should do a decent amount to this Gyarados. Oh, it nearly, 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 nearly takes him out. Oh, that was close. Um, predicting that I'll outspeed this thing, I'm just going to go for another Hurricane. There's no reason not to. We should outspeed everything on his team there. It is a Mega Gyarados, but I think, I really don't think it matters. I really don't think it matters. I think we can sweep his team there. Mole Breaker is fine. Hurricane. And we take him out. And there we go. There's dead Gyarados. Uh, yeah, I think we're in a position to sweep. Because all he's got is the Ditto and the... Rotom Wash. I think that's the Rotom Wash. No, it's the Ditto. And he... Does Imposter not work on a sub? Oh, ho, 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 Hurricane, come through. Match is forfeited. So we pick up three wins today. I'm, I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless. If you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure you just like, comment, and subscribe so you can watch more of my stuff. But other than that, I have been Jamie Jigsaw. I upload daily, and I'm out.